Hey everybody, Brandon Beliso here. I just had a minute, and this isn't our regular success never sleeps, but I just wanted to do this post. I just had the most phenomenal experience dealing with the Department of Motor Vehicles. I know it doesn't sound right, right? Who's ever had an amazing experience with the Department of Motor Vehicles? Okay, so succeeding in business is much like negotiating the Department of Motor Vehicles. I needed to take two vans and transfer both those vans into a new LLC that we are creating. And I also needed to get license plates and I also needed to take care of the insurance and transfers. So. I couldn't have done it without my sister, Letitia. She's become like my right-hand person and she takes care of a lot of my stuff. I mean, it makes my life so much easier. So I can't take full credit for this, okay? But here's what we did. We did all the research. She prepared all the documents. I checked them. She double-checked them. I triple-checked them. We scheduled an appointment with DMV. And it took like, it's a month out or so. And you don't want to go there with an appointment and then not have the proper paperwork. So we had all the paperwork, all our ducks in a row. We had an appointment. I walked in there ready to go. Even knew that they only took check and ATM ready to go. So as I walk up to DMV, there's a line. And I kid you not, this line goes outside DMV for, wow. I mean, it's a long line. So I look at this line and I go, is this the appointment line? And they go, no, it's the non-appointment line. I went, oh my God. And then I walked all the way to the front of that line and right next to it is the appointment line and there's one person in that line so i get in there i check in they give me a number i sit down i look up it says a033 and my number is a035 so i sit with my computer thinking it might be a while boom within 10 minutes my number is called i walk up to the lady and on top of it you want to talk about synergy she knew me when i was a singer in the philippines she looked at me and recognized me and done day. We took care of all this stuff in a matter of 20 minutes, the proper paperwork. I walked out with license plates, registration, the whole nine yards. It's set up so it goes into my other LLC KB courtesy shuttle. So what that really registered with me as I walked out of DMV, all these people still in line, it's because they waited until the last minute so they couldn't get an appointment because appointments are scheduled so far out. They had to stand in line. Um, I don't know if they had their paperwork together or not, but what I'm, I'm sharing is that you should prepare. If you want to succeed in business, you should prepare. No Hail Mary Pass Facebook ads at the end of the month. None of this off the cuff, just flying by the seat of your pants if you want to be a successful business. You plan properly, you schedule properly, you execute properly. You feel me? So I, I really felt that today, just the way that rolled. And my sister, again, I can't take full credit for it, but... We teamed on it, had all the paperwork, did all the research, got all the documents. The girl was surprised. And on top of it, she was enamored because she knew me as a singer in the Philippines. Everything was right. I was in and out of DMV. I kid you not, in about 30 minutes. And as I walked out, the disgruntled people standing there because they weren't prepared, because they waited to the last minute, because they didn't have an appointment. And who knows what paperwork they had. You feel me? So I just wanted to share that. Succeeding in business is like negotiating DMV. Do your research plan properly, get the proper paperwork, get things in order, and then execute. And you'll have days like today. I'll be on later tonight for Success Never Sleeps. Who's going to join me? Uh, for all my services, go to brandonbliso.com. And uh, until we talk again, you go out there and live your best life.